Hey guys, uh, so today we're gonna do a little review of the Diva Overwatch headset by Razer. Uh, this is a gift that I got for my daughter um, who's four years old and she's now getting into playing games online. Um, so we've been playing some Overwatch, started off with just doing easy mode and all the way now we're up to AI against hard. So I can tell you, this is when I saw this come out, um, when I saw uh, Seltzer Please uh, come out with this and do a video, uh, a bunch of things on, on Instagram on it, I was like, I gotta get this, this is perfect. My daughter loves D.Va. Um, it's a cool headset, it looks awesome. Um, and then, so I instantly bought it the day it came out. It was like, I think like 87 bucks, something like that. I can tell you, uh, this is an official, it is 100% officially licensed by Blizzard. Uh, my thoughts on it are this. I love the design. I think it's cool looking, um, but functionally, it's terrible. Um, so as you can tell, like this is a normal headset, like the Logitech ones that I have here. Um, they're, they're pretty simple. As you can see, like the, the straightforward design, they go right over your ears and your head. So when I put them over my ears and they go, they have, they go around, they have cups that go over that, that don't play on your ear, they go around your ear, right? So that's the idea. That's what you want to do in a headset. As you can see with this, you've got this like L-shaped design that goes in, into it. Um, and that's a problem um, because as you're, when you put the headset on, it kind of sits, and if I can angle it correctly, make sure I have it angled correctly because it looks like it's it's off, but it's actually not. Um, so when you put it on, as you can see from the side, it, ha it still has this L shape. So it's the, 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 the portion on the top of the head sits in the back and just overall, like you want it to be in the middle of your head, which gives you the amount of support that you need. So I don't like how it's placed. That's number one. Number two, it goes on top of the ear. It does not go, it doesn't surround the ear. So it goes on top of the ear. So if you're playing games for, I don't know, any, anything longer than like 10 minutes, you're, uh, you're going to start getting some ear fatigue. And that's one thing I noticed because it's pressing, it presses against the ear um, as opposed to sitting on top of the ears and cupping your ear, which makes it, you know, a lot more comfortable. Um, the padding on it's nice. Um, the padding on the top is nice. It's like a memory foam type of padding. So it doesn't bother me from that standpoint, but the way that it actually physically sits on your head is based off of like the strength of the plastic that goes around it. Um, and I can tell you, like I, I played, I was playing some PUBG yesterday for like an hour. And at the end of it, I was done. Like my ears were pressed against, your, your ears are sitting there pressed against your head and it, it gives you a lot of like ear fatigue. Um, so cosmetically, it looks awesome. Um, from a, from the standpoint of anything else, it's not really that great. Um, go with the standard Razer Overwatch headset, um, which is awesome, which is here. Um, and by the way, this is, I'm giving one of these away for my Twitch channel. So I'm going to put the link below. So we're going to be doing a giveaway on January 13th for this. All you got to do is follow me on Twitch and subscribe to a couple different things and you're in. Um, so this is a much better product. If you're gonna go with a headset from over for that's Overwatch themed from Razer, this is the one you want, the Man of War Tournament Edition. Um, the only problem with this, it is an analog, so it's an analog um, headset, and it doesn't have 7.1 surround, which is so surprising that you've got a Overwatch headset which supports 7.1 in-game surround, but then they create one that doesn't have it. Um, but anyway, it's it feels better. It actually cups the ears. It's light. Um, designed well, it has the extended uh, microphone. As you'll notice, no extended microphone on this. I'm actually not even sure where the microphone portion, because it it has it, as you can tell on the, on, you might not be able to tell, but you, it actually has a microphone on here, so I'm not sure what you're muting from. Um, somewhere in this, there's a microphone that's built. Um, I, it's not great. Um, like So what I can say is, if, if you're only going to be playing for a small period of time, you don't necessarily care about, you know, the feeling for long periods of time, then fine. Um, it's an expensive headset. It's definitely unique and very cool looking. I'll give it that. Um, it's, I, I like the design look, but from a functional standpoint, it's absolutely terrible. And it's not some, even my daughter, my daughter was wearing it. She played like two or three rounds. She's like, daddy, my ears hurt. So that's the standpoint. I can't recommend buying this. Um, I'm gonna hold on to it because 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to take it back at this point. Um, so maybe she'll get used to it. Maybe it'll loosen up over time. Um, I don't know, but, um, I can't recommend buying this and, uh, I don't think that anybody should. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. Um, uh, if you liked the video, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.